Hello everyone, welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. We're in 2023. I'm going to show you how to create a melted text effect or a warped text effect in about 60 seconds. Start your timer. Here we go. We've got some uh, content here. I've got a Halloween written here and I want to melt it. What do I do? First step, I go up to filter at the top here and I'm going to select liquify. When you do that, it's going to ask you to convert to a smart object or rasterize. I like to convert to a smart object. Also note that I use an orange font color or an orange color. If you use white, it can be hard to see it. So uh, just keep that in the back of your head. You might want to use another color and then switch it to white later. Okay, good. The next step is I'm going to go over to the top left here. And I'm going to make sure that I have the forward warp tool selected. You can adjust the size density of the brushes. I'm going to use a larger size brush just to show you the technique. But keep in mind, you can change it. And now I'm just pulling it down you'll see here, and I'm just going ahead and warping as I see fit. This is just a nice quick job here. But if I wanted to make very special warps, like on this, uh, for example, this exclamation mark, you'll see here I shrunk the brush size down quite a bit to like, let's go to like 50, really small. And I can make like little tiny warps if I want to go ahead and make, you know, unique warps. Also keep in mind that you can go ahead and reconstruct. If you make a warp and you don't like it, just select the second tool here and watch. I'll just go over top of it and presto. It goes back to the original so you're not stuck with anything. So you can reconstruct or you can forward warp. Lastly, you can also smooth things out. This doesn't, I don't use this too often, but if you've got a warp and it's kind of rough and raggedy and you don't like it, you can always go ahead and smooth it. That's all you got to do to melt and warp it inside Photoshop. Thanks for watching.